So guys, let me give you some uh, Windows 8 consumer previews for the new uh, Windows 8 program. There's a uh, first, there's no star screen. That's pretty cool. For the second, you turn on the tablet, Windows 8 looks dramatically different from Windows in the past. The whole entire experience is centered on the star screen, which is a home to colorful live tiles and apps and titles themselves that look a lot, ones like Microsoft, Microsoft Windows Phone. Number two, so your your things gonna have like apps. Number two, you find the apps for that, which I discovered. Number three is mail. <clears throat> Similar to the iPad and Android tablets, you have a two pane view and your inbox on the left and the messages on the right. You can easily change the font, font color, and uh, insert a large variety of emotions and key message people. That's the next one. So you can sign into your Twitter, Facebook, Google, Microsoft Live accounts and message all your friends and check the statuses. It's not a very versatile, but it's a nice portable keeping tabs on your friends. Next, music and videos. Muse. Microsoft has engaged its music and video stores in the core of Windows 8. The doors weren't up running while I was testing, but the layout and the apps is very simple to navigate. <clears throat> Next, Xbox comes to the computer. One of the most exciting preloaded apps is Xbox Live Games. While the, restore, <coughs> while the store wasn't up and running on my tablet, I was able to try a version of <coughs> Pinball FX2. The graphics was beautiful on the 16 inch tablet and it was very impressive, very responsive to my taps. Next is Internet Explorer in the cloud. As you may have guessed, a new version of Windows means a new version of Internet Explorer. However, there are two versions of the web browser in Windows 8, which I find confusing. If you, uh, if you are on the start screen, you will see the shortcut to the Metro style version of the browser, but if you are on traditional desktop, you would get the desktop version. Next is mouse and keyboard. Clearly, a lot of Windows 8 was built for touch, but this isn't a tablet operating system pairing Windows 8, but the mouse and keyboard works quite well. That's cool. So bottom line, overall, I'm extremely impressed with the next version of Windows. So, I'm recommending it.